What's going on guys? Got the 81 Camaro. We've been working on for quite some time now. And uh, just a couple of updates. Um, when I bought this car, it didn't run. And I didn't know if it would run or not. Well, it does run. So we got it going a long time ago. But anyway, um, one thing I've never really pointed out to everybody is and I don't think you can see them very well but this motor is a 73 truck motor but it's got a set of double hump heads on it and I don't think the guy that sold it to me realized that so anyway um, I'm not sure what year they are, anything like that, but this thing runs, but it doesn't run right. And we got the, unfortunately, we got the timing mark around there, but there is no tab on the chain cover timing cover so uh, just going by somewhat of a memory I guess right now I know that it's pretty close to hitting on number one but I'm going to pull these valve covers off and uh, like I said the single run but it's not running right um, it, it gets to clacking like a set of spoons smacking together uh, when you rev it up so uh, I did have to put a new better gasket on this side and I got some better quality ones that came than what came with the set when I put them on uh, we had a little issue with a uh, uh, brace down there was when we tightened the headers up um, the headers were hitting up against the brace so I don't think it ever tightened down correctly in the get-go and pull the old gasket off and it was compressed like you know we had a leak so anyway um, I that brace down there you can see it's you get a, about a piece of paper in between it and the header but it tightened up the header tightened up good so went ahead and started it back up and let that seat in a little bit I sprayed the gasket down with copper copper coat before I put it back on um, these old Edelbrock valve covers are coming off uh, at some point if we ever get around to it. Um, got a new set of valve covers that are going on. Anyway, um, this motor had this torquer intake on it also when we got it. And I really don't, that carburetor, it had an adapter with a quadra junk on it. And it was junk. It was pretty me messed up. But uh, anyway, Another video, yeah, I think you can, might be able to see it, maybe not, and if I get the light, there's a crack in that water connection jacket there, so I don't know whether to pull the intake off and take it to my welding shop and see if they can weld, you know, weld that up, or if I should just kind of grind it out and try some JV weld first and see if that does the trick but regardless I'm gonna to have to uh, drain some antifreeze out of it and uh, you know we, we can try the JB weld I've used it before on different things and you know pretty much works pretty well uh, bought the, the stuff that's good to 500 degrees two part so uh, anyway we'll do that I'm going to pull these valve covers off and check the valves because, like I said, when you rev this thing up, it gets clacking like crazy. So it sounds like some loose rocker arms. Um, and it's not running quite right like it should. It runs. It, it'll idle. But, uh, you know, anyway, we'll see what we can find out. I'm going to have to shut this down for a minute and get some tools so unfortunately i don't have a bunch of cameras to uh, show what's going on so i'll be back shortly
about that. Just My wife just popped the door open and asked me if I'd go check the mail, so I will. But anyway, um, back to what we were talking about. I can grab hold of this, that uh, push rod, it just, the ones that are tight, they can't spin. But all these push rods, except for the ones that are snug, let's check the other side. That one spins, 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 that one spins. Oh my gosh. And that one spins. Well, I think I pretty much know what's going on. Um, obviously, the valves are not adjusted at all. Pretty much, basically not at all. Um, small small block guys uh, doesn't matter. Any any push rod type motor with hydraulic lifters. Um, I learned this a long time ago. That um, and before I learned this, I used to do it the old fashioned way. Um, used to pull car out, pull the valve covers off. Actually, I at one point cut up an old set of valve covers so they would sit on here um, because anybody ever has done it in the driveway trying to adjust these rocker arms with the motor running it sucks if you're if the car's running um, you got oil dripping down on the headers you got oil flying up on the inner wheel well on your paint on yourself it gets hot it gets smoky um, it's ridiculous so anyway, what I learned a long time ago is you can come through here and you can get these to zero lash by put, putting a, a ratchet and socket on, on these. And while you're tightening, you can spin the push rods until they stop. So unfortunately, I can't set up a camera right now because I don't know what's wrong with our other camera. Um, anyway, um, I can't set one up to show what I'm doing, but if you guys have done this before or are looking to do it the easiest way, this is what you do. You go through, doesn't matter. Uh, if you stop, start, you can come back and jump right back in this. You know, if your wife comes out and tells you to go get the mail, you know, you can come back and start where you left off, pretty much. Uh, I'm going to go through and tighten all these up. Um, going to uh, do that, and then we're going to rotate it about 90 degrees. And I'm not going to put a wrench on to do it because I don't feel like doing it that way. So I'll just bump it around, get it close. Doesn't have to be perfect. Um, go through and hit them again, and see. What happens, go another 90 degrees, go through them again. Usually two full rotations of the valve train will be enough. Uh, you know, I might go uh, three just to be on the safe side. And then after you get your zero valve lash, you can come in and do tighten them up three quarters of a turn. So if you start and I'll try to show this with your ratchet this way. You can come around there. That's one quarter, two quarters, three quarters should be looking up top of the motor. So anyway, uh, I'm going to go check the mail for the wife. And, um, you know, I'll be back. I'm going to see if we can't get this thing running right. Okay guys, I'm back. I'm sorry I can't show all this stuff to you, but it's pretty much cut and dried. So I went around, rotated um, 90 degrees, went down through all the valves, um, adjusted all the push rods. I went through this whole cycle, uh, three complete revolutions. So um, 
each time 90 go down through and check and tighten just till they make contact uh, with the rocker uh, every every uh, push rod and some of them are going to be tight some of them are going to be loose so the loose ones you obviously you snug them back down until they just barely start catching same with both sides doesn't matter the side uh, you know doesn't matter which side you start on just as long as you check them all uh, rotate it another 90 degrees and do it again check them all loose ones tighten snug them up um, on through you know three complete revolutions and then um, I went through and checked them all again everything felt really good and uh, you're gonna put your socket on there and you're gonna go like if you start right here you're gonna go one two three so that should be fine for a small block Chevy and uh, other cars too for that matter but uh, I'm gonna put the valve covers back on um, again you know just found out that we've got some early fuely heads on this car and uh, I'm gonna put the valve covers back on um, not quite ready to put the new ones on yet but um, I'm going to see if I can get this, see what this thing does when it starts up again. All right, um, hopefully I can bring you a video shortly. Well, I fired up. Sounds raw better. I guess I should have done it before. Do something about that, won't we? 